Hello everyone, uh, this is Dr. Kachepa from uh, in Modeno. Uh, in this video I want to talk about the differences between a conventional bridge like this and a Maryland bridge. Uh, typically we get a lot of questions in our clinic as to what the difference between a Maryland bridge and a conventional bridge is. Um, a conventional bridge is a bridge like this here is when a patient is missing a tooth um, when the patient is missing a tooth, like in this scenario, like this tooth here, they're missing that tooth, and we go around and we shave around this tooth here, and we shave around that tooth here, and then we make a bridge uh, like this one, and we cement it in the mouth like that, and that goes down like that. That's a conventional bridge. It involves a ladder. Uh, shaving and, uh, and then we put glue we put glue in the retainer here in this retainer here and then we take it and we glue it in the mouth like that it doesn't come in and out it's permanent it's fixed if you brush it floss it every day it should last a lifetime if you don't floss and brush they could fail you can get cavities uh, around these uh, retainers here and uh, it would fail and then we have to take it out um, either make a new bridge or extend or if with the same ponix with the same retainers if not with that then we can take those out and make it longer we make it extend from here to here or whatever the case scenario is so that's a conventional bridge there a Maryland bridge on the other hand it doesn't involve uh, all the shaving like this here. It's um, it's really just a, a modification of the conventional bridge here. It's much easier to do. Typically, we don't have to again. We don't have to shave any tooth structure here. These may be ideal for patients that can afford uh, something like this because this is going to be a, uh, more costly than a Maryland bridge, which has little wings uh, like that. It looks kind of like a little angel. Um, it doesn't involve all that tooth uh, removal, uh, but when you make it, it doesn't come in and out. So I'm going to demonstrate how that works. I'm going to hold this up like this, and then here we have a patient that's missing that tooth there. So we, we make a Maryland bridge, and then we uh, cement it in uh, like that, like that. Uh, so it doesn't cover the whole tooth it just covers a portion of the tooth I'm gonna take it out so you can see there it is it just goes on the lingual side it doesn't come to this side of the mouth it just it hooks on to this side of the mouth so you put it in like that and you glue it in it involves much less uh, tooth structure removal they are quicker, they can last much longer, uh, but it's also an option for some patients that uh, can afford a conventional bridge uh, like this, which would be recommended really by a lot of healthcare providers. Um, but uh, this is also another option, you, you know, if you have kidney problems, for example, and you, you don't, you can't take, um, uh, you're not, you can do uh, local anesthetic then this is going to be a good option for you um, if you have some uh, cardiovascular disease that uh, uh, keeps you from having to get um, local anesthetic this uh, Maryland bridge uh, can be an option for you now it doesn't just have to involve one tooth structure here this one involves just this one tooth that was ex that, that was missing here you can involve several missing teeth if this tooth was missing and this tooth was missing and you can make them, um, you can justify that and make them nice and aesthetic and you're working with a good lab, you can do that and make a three unit, uh, a four unit uh, Maryland bridge or even a conventional bridge. A conventional bridge doesn't have to be a three unit like this one. Uh, it can also be uh, four units, it could be five units, it could be six units uh, depending on whatever the case scenario that you're dealing with is. Now one of the questions that we also get in our clinic is once we've cemented these bridges is how do I how do I floss underneath this? 
well uh, you floss a little bit different than just uh, regular flossing so if this when this has been cemented in like that uh, normally you're gonna I'm gonna tell you to go to wherever you get your dental supplies from you will get a floss threader what is known as a floss threader like this like this one here and uh, you will pass floss through it uh, like this you pass floss through it like that and then you would take that floss threader and feed it in between the ponic like that I'm going to use this so you can see you feed it through there like that okay this is in your mouth and then you take this floss and just go underneath it and floss like that and then you come again to the other side and floss like that you go underneath the ponic and floss like that when you're done you pull it out like that you floss everywhere else I'm big in flossing uh, flossing is key part of any good oral hygiene at home or wherever you go flossing should be part of your uh, oral hygiene every single day you do that uh, you will have very good teeth that you should keep for a lifetime uh, it looks like there's something there uh, like that and then a Maryland bridge the way we floss uh, around the Maryland bridge is also the same as what I just did on the on the conventional bridge there so I would take this Maryland bridge here I'll take this guy and um, I'll put it in like that after it's been glued in I'll glue it in after it's been glued in you're gonna take the same floss threader that we talked about earlier and you will pass it through the ponic like that you will grab this uh, like that and you're gonna go underneath it underneath that bridge that that ponic like that and floss through there every day uh, it shouldn't take more than a minute and a half to floss all of your teeth um, it's better than getting a big cavity and then you having to lose uh, your teeth so again uh, you can get these um, you know uh, you can you can get uh, these uh, if you're missing a tooth uh, if you don't have enough uh, tooth uh, bone here for an implant to place an implant and be able to uh, do a an implant and then you can do a Maryland bridge which is a little bit cheaper than a conventional bridge uh, like this one uh, the one I showed earlier these are good options I've seen both of them work um, so anyways uh, if you're looking for a dentist that can uh, do some of this work for you uh, we've done several here in our clinic at Inwood Dental we love uh, treating all of our patients and uh, doing different treatment plans but uh, both uh, Maryland, Maryland bridges and uh, conventional bridges work very good um, it just depends on what you can afford and what your health is and um, it's better than having something that comes in and out of the mouth because if you have something that comes in and out, out of the mouth you're not going to be happy with that these are fixed you put glue here on this wing and glue on that wing and it's in your mouth it doesn't come in and out it should stay in there same thing with the fixed bridge here now you can get something that comes in and out that's going to be much less uh, expensive than these here uh, but uh, again patients typically don't like something that comes in and out of the mouth um, and these fixed ones are much better options for that so um, if you're looking for a dentist again to do this for you uh, you can call uh, our office uh, we're based in North Dallas um, uh, you can call 972-233-2341 972-233-2341 this is Dr. Kachepa I hope to see you and your friends if you're uh, wanting to get a dental bridge or a Maryland bridge. Okay, thanks. Bye.